Welcome to my channel and welcome to the coloring from the book of One Dragon Dreams by Anastasia Kolderivan. In October I made video about all my finished pictures featuring dragons and I have realized how much I miss coloring in this book. So I immediately started two projects and one of them is this sea animal dragon. I decided to use watercolors white nights for the background. You probably know that a year ago white nights started to create this line of pastel colors of watercolors. All of them have a white in paint mixed with pigment so that's why they have this soft pastel colors. They already have a lot of interesting colors in the line of these paints and I decided to mix a little bit of pink peony and lilac. Probably lilac is the main color here and pink peony, uh, which is slightly brighter and more pinkish, I used closer to the ground, to the seaweeds and mm, lilac I used more closer to the top part of the page. Why I decided to use these paints? It's because I can't say that this paper 100% good for watercolors. You will see later that somehow closer to the edges of the page watercolors created some not very pleasant stains. And with these pastel watercolors, which are not totally transparent as regular watercolors, but instead they are semi-opaque because of the white pigment, they are easier to work on paper, which is not 100% perfect for watercolors. They create a lesser amount of stains, so they are slightly more suitable. And apart that, of course, I simply love these nice pastel colors. For the shell of the, uh, where dragon is laying, I also will be using one of the paints from the same line. It will be a watercolor dune. For me it's a very nice color and very helpful. Maybe it's not bright, but color is a very pleasant and I think that it can be used for coloring many things. But as usual, Alona made a mistake and when I started to color shell, I accidentally covered part of the tail of the dragon. I was so absorbed in selecting colors for the shell that I hadn't realized that between, mm, between the layers of the shell there is a very thin tail of the dragon. But I am not preoccupied. I intend to use relatively dark colors for the dragon, so I am sure that either I will be able to work with these dragon colors on top of the watercolors and to save tail of the dragon, or my dragon will be with very short tail. And I will imagine that the tip of the tail is hidden somewhere on the base between all those seaweeds. Anyway, I quite enjoyed my start. I pretty quickly did this watercolor background, then I started to work on the shell. And as I said, I selected Dune as a main color and I added a little bit of raw sienna also. And then as for the ornament on the shell, I used two shades of brown slightly brighter Mars brown and very dark, almost black sepia. Then I let watercolors to dry completely. I hadn't ironed this page yet, but probably I will do it before the second part of this coloring will start. And when everything was dry, I started to work on the details on the shell using Faber-Castell polychromos to add more shading, more contrast, especially on the dark parts on the shell. And I also used a one Kohinoor Mondelus in pastel yellow color because I love how this pencil work on top of a watercolor underpaint and it always helps to add a very pleasant pastel yellow accents. Probably in the next part I will be working on the dragon 
And of course, I think that in the third part, I will work more on the shell. I do love how it looks now, but I definitely want it to have more detailed texture. So, thanks for watching this start of my coloring. If you have this book, I hope that you will be coloring together with me. Or anyway, I hope that maybe you will be able to find something helpful and to enjoy my coloring. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon.
Thank you. 